Welcome to Wham Bam Player of the Day. This is your host, Trot Wham on Twitter. This is Oz.com, Oz HQ on YouTube. Make sure you like, subscribe. Today we are filming this in July 23rd, 2020. This play is Orlando Magic minus six against the Brooklyn Nets. That will be a match on July 31st, 2020. Let's look into this as far as the Brooklyn Nets. Brooklyn Nets, probably one of the most depleted teams that we have in this bubble. They lost eight players, including Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, Spencer Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie. They even lost a replacement player that they may have, they already had to replace. Michael put Michael Beasley was a replacement player. They had to replace the replacement player. Karis LeVert is probably going to be starting at one. Tamath Luwalu Kabarat, it will be at two. We got Radonis uh, Kirkris, he will be at the four. At the three, Joe Harris. At the five, of course, Jared Allen. Now, Radonis, Tamath, they're both averaging about four points per game. That's not that much firepower. So I'm anticipating Garrett Temple, Jamal Crawford to be that back end firepower that's coming off the bench. But I mean, they might need them starting. They might need them starting. Now, this team that they're going to head up with, they're getting back one of the best defenders that I believe in the next in the near future, Jonathan Isaac, who's ranked number two before he was uh, in, had a season-ending knee injury. He was ranked number two just ahead of Anthony Davis in play uh, defensive plays per foul. It's pretty good company right there. It's just ahead. I mean, just ahead of him was just Jimmy Butler. I mean, that's pretty good company. Jonathan Isaac, very great addition to add on. Back in March, both of these teams were playing well. Include exclusively Marco Fultz was playing really well. He was having 16 points, averaging 16 points uh, per game and 6.7 assists with only one turnover in that March. Now it was only 13 games before everything shut down, but. That's pretty good. Let's get that consistency with him only getting better every time he gets on the court. So I like that as well as them having other players that's coming off the bench. Mo Bamba, Vucevic, who's also one of the best fantasy big men of the last three years. Vucevic, Nikola. Come on now. Minus six is maybe a gimme here. So that's why I'm getting this out early. I'm anticipating this to be at minus eight before the tip off there. And I think the reason in behind all this is because this is a way team for everyone and Orlando Magic is one of the best away against the spread teams that we had before the end of this year they're hitting at 60 percent uh covering 60 percent of their games away and they're having a 65 percent to the over on the road games as well big numbers right there that you're looking at so I'm looking at this as minus six may not be that far away they're having an average win margin on the last three games advantage on this Brooklyn team, about five points. So this might not be that far off. And I mean, average score margin, my apologies, against against the Brooklyn Nets within the last three games. So this might not be a big deal. The minus six might not be that big deal. So I'm looking at the minus six as one of those first plays. Let's get this out early. Wham, bam, play of the day. We will have more of these. Shout out to Oz.com, Oz HQ on YouTube. Make sure you like and subscribe. Wham is bubbling.